I want, I'm Kari and I can draw. And the thing is that since we're going to do this thing about acting, I devise a little script or idea of something that I want to character act and I'm going to draw them. But first, if we're going to do the whole method thing, I actually have to act it myself. So, uh, well, here it goes. Okay, so I have this idea that I want to do. First of all, I'm a really bad actor and I know nothing about acting, so this is going to be pretty lousy, pretty lame, and maybe you should just skip to the part where I start drawing, but I kind of need to do this for myself. So the idea that I wanted to do is that, uh, you know, there are two people walking. There's a girl that is walking all straight and confident and proud, and there's this guy that's going to be all a little shy and crouched a bit, and the confident girl drops something, the guy lifts it from the ground and wants to give it to her and when he touches her shoulder she just kind of goes like into judo mode and just flips him to the ground and he shows that he was actually holding her uh, wallet or something and she is really sorry and they walk together or something. I still don't know that much but I, will, I want to do this so stay with me. So first, I'm thinking about the girl, right? Like the girl is going to have some, maybe it's this profile, I, I can't walk a lot here, but she's going to be walking like this, like with her arms real loose, and you know, her chin really up, like this, and the guy, the guy's going to be like, you know, looking to his feet or, or looking to the ground. I always uh, look to the ground when I walk, because I'm like, also, I'm kind of like this. So, uh, he should be like... You know, like dragging his feet a bit, maybe? <clears throat> like, if you compare, yeah, you know, she's going to look super confident, and it's not. Like, I'm doing... I, and, so he's going to find the thing, right? So, he's going to go... Going to grab the thing, going to look at her, and he's going to be shy about it while she's walking confidently. And he's okay, he's holding the thing in the right hand so we can see it in the other hand. Uh, and he's going to be like. In that particular moment is when the confident girl is going to be walking, and when she feels the tap on the shoulder, he's going to go like. And. Maybe, okay, maybe, he'll sit and she grabs the hand and goes back to put her body against him so she can like bash him onto the ground. So how would that be? She should be lifting her leg when she throws him and she's going to be looking like kind of angry like yes, and the guy he's going to be on the ground like this is the part that I find just a bit difficult he's going to be on the ground right you can see in, in the ground Ugh. and he's going to do what exactly he, he should be like lifting the thing a bit scared or maybe a bit out of breath, like, you know, when you feel when you fall. And what is she going to do? She was standing like this. Going to go like... So she's going to turn around and help him up. Then they're going to walk together? Is that kind of how it goes? Well, I, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to use this as a reference to see if I can get this right. Uh, so I'm going to go to the computer now, you know, to the regular schedule thing where I don't do the ridicule in my really, really messy living room. Uh, computer's over there, let's go! Well, that was rough. And honestly, I have no clue what's wrong with my shoulder and my shoulder blade. I mean, I go to a physical therapist to get it better, but it's not getting any better. I mean, uh... still, after doing that, I actually spend a few minutes and by a few minutes, I mean like an hour and a half 
drawing and using those uh, images as reference. So I want to show you exactly what I did with that film that I uh, shot of myself. Okay, so take a look at this. First, I established two people walking. Those are the two characters that are going to be on this particular um, story that we're going to do. And well, one is walking like kind of hunched with hunched shoulders, kind of like. And the other girl is walking confident. It's like she doesn't care about anything. And well, I here we have, I'm going to start switching layers like this. So here we have the character that suddenly sees the wallet. The girl is still walking. I didn't do a walking animation first because it would take me a lot of time. Second, because I don't remember how to do them. And third, because that would make them look awful. So suddenly he sees the, um, the wallet. You know, the line of action is going to be super clear. It's going to be this one. I actually, uh, the, the, I got the I line of action right for this pose from the film uh, of myself because I didn't have it right. Like I tried a few times to get it right in my head, but I couldn't do it. So he crouches once again, line of action, this one to get the wallet. I did a second frame where he's lifting his head, looking at the girl. I was going to get into a lot more detail, but it was taking me a lot more time, so I didn't get into too much detail as I just did. So, I did, so here what I did was, I took reference also from the film, and I did this pose of the guy about to touch the woman's shoulder, but I thought that there was something missing here, so I kind of did this pose, which actually does nothing. It helped me. It tr I tried to get like some. If if it's if we're going to establish some kind of rhythm, it's like he's crouch and suddenly he looks and he look and he takes some kind of initiative to approach the girl. And I wanted to get that right. I wanted to get like this wave right here. So I did some kind of in the middle to see if I could get it right. That works more like in motion, and still that image in the middle that I did, it just I, it doesn't help at all, so, you know, it, it, was, it wasn't something good. But still, you know, I wanted something in the middle because it's like there's something there is missing. So, now what we have here is like he's about to touch her, and I did like this quick, like she reacts to the touch from this shoulder. She st gets started like that. And then, well, this is the fun part, which doesn't have much to do with acting, honestly, but it was fun to do still. I started doing some research into like self-defense videos to see how you could do an over-the-shoulder throw. So I did uh, the, the girl grabbing his arm, pulling from his arm and going back so her body would clash with, would clash with his body. You know, the guy is startled, so you can see that she's doing, going here, and the guy's getting pulled from here, and he's resisting this way, you know? And then, here's the throw, which was the most far, fun thing to do. And, well, this one is also pretty obvious, because everything is doing this, like it's going to this way, which is all the, the pulling force going to that point. And then I just did just this last one where she's after pulling him, she's just looking at him defiantly and he's just flat on the floor. Now, this is super incomplete and I'm going to keep working on it tomorrow to get it a lot better, especially, you know, to get some extra uh, physical features and facial features to, to get this looking a lot better. But it's just an initial approach and I have to be honest with you, uh, especially with with this one, with this one where uh, he's about to touch her shoulder, I had a lot of problem uh, doing it from my imagination. So having that film or of me doing it, it actually helped a lot. So, you know, when in doubt, always use some reference, use some self-reference. I also use some external reference for the throw. So tomorrow I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to finish the part where he gives him the wallet and she gets a surprise and they like walk along so uh, to add a little bit more acting 
So tomorrow I'm going to be adding some gestures to this, some facial expression, and I'm going to try to finish the story to see if I can learn anything else. So, well, that's going to be it for today. My name is Gabby and I can drop... And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!